Season 2 hype. All right, new hangar, new everything, new pilot tokens, new mech tokens. Oh my, how exciting. You should have a slide where it just says after the time skip kind of thing. <laughs> after the time skip, there is no time skip. It's been two weeks. <laughs> it's been two weeks, exactly. It's been two weeks, exactly. It's been 3,000 years. <laughs> well, it took a... Um, well, authorized vacation. <laughs> we Absolutely authorized. authorized. Yep. <laughs> All right, Hothead. How have you spent the time in between missions? Yeah. Um, kind of surprisingly, given the situation on this planet, I have been doing somewhat unethical experiments as well as like creating <laughs> mutagens and stuff in RP so I think this is kind of like my place or maybe I have influenced this a bit but yeah just been messing around with bio related technology yes the planet we're on of course uh, Hecate is a wasteland an urban wasteland it's pretty run down there's mutants uh, running through the desert, and there is a shadowy organization of scientists responsible for it all. And uh, today we'll kick the door in, hopefully. And Astaroth, what have you been up to? It's a pretty, it's a pretty cool suit, I gotta say. Yeah, uh, been up to in the planet. I've been probably just wandering around looking for stuff for the mission. Uh, maybe haggling again. I, uh, I'm not sure what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. No <laughs> and Dialect, a newcomer so to Interpoint Station. Yes, Dialect is in entirely new to the station and uh, has mostly just been taking the lay of the land, getting to know his co-workers and the like. How's that been going for you? Uh, pretty decently. Had a drink with some people in the cantina last night. Managed to Is find my room despite HR's best efforts. And got some sleep before being thrown directly into my test run. Wonderful. Uh, with the new... Intercorp Everest and the new Intercorp mobility suit. Uh, maybe you can oh, yes. test out test out the jetpack today. Would be interesting. And hopefully it doesn't explode. Hopefully we'll see. <laughs> and Oprah. Also new Intercorp themed apparel. I see. Yes, this is the new stuff, and I'm obviously going to be obligated to wear it and use it and it's a very very stylish and tactful so i don't mind it doesn't look at all or anything like that so i'm quite content and um essentially opera has been busy once again with running trying to run the r d department as well as a lot of other things that happened in the middle of the station <laughs> it's been it's been a lot because, I mean, Astaroth and I... Oh, yeah, there's... Oh, right. And yeah, yeah, you remember <laughs> that you whole debacle. The thing that happened in Station. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, you, you don't you don't even want to know what happened with that. It's just, just basically... That is correct. <laughs> like, it was a lot. And Opera was one of the people I was trying to help Astaroth with their predicament. And then, yeah, there's just been... Opera's again trying to be the problem solver of the Station, and it's... Not been the best of success. <laughs> so just... One quick second, we're having technical difficulties on the old Twitch. Because that's always fun. It works now. Who knows? Yes, perfect, wonderful, love it. 
Uh, great. So, for today's mission, uh, what we'll be doing is we have some intel on a possible HMO, Harmon Medical Organization, black site out in the deserts, where they keep prisoners, human prisoners, to experiment on. And the black site is guarded by both HMO Max and their disgusting mutant creations. Uh, so maybe knock on the door and see if they're home and uh, free those people. Hopefully, yep. hopefully that works out. Yep. Sounds like a plan. Great. Uh, reserves wise. What are we doing, Hot Ed? Uh, I'm going for the caustic uh, rounds. Actually, I'm gonna, like, before you start, mm -hmm. uh, give me mm -hmm. just one second, sorry. And that should do it. Maybe, hopefully. That's what happens when you don't stream for like two weeks. Oh dear. <laughs> yes, everything's fixed. Great. I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. Uh, reserve wise, hot head, caustic grounds. Yeah, basically, I am looking to take the nanites that I generally have with my light nexuses and kind of improve my warple gun into kind of using those to create some kind of burn like effects and destroy the mechs that I'm shooting. So what you're telling me is that the drones your necks I are shooting are now shooting drones loaded with acid. Yes. That's no, sorry, good. the warple gun. Oh, the warple gun. Uh, the warple, yeah. Okay, so yeah, let's say that I've added like streams of acid to the already like kind of strange weapon damage that it does it kind of shoots out a pellet of acid as well it's the warp gun kinetic it is damn it is <laughs> all right perfect uh yeah how are you going about acquiring acid cartridges for your warp gun uh, i'm gonna mix some chemicals together to create what i find to be the strongest acid that i can all right and, yeah <laughs> Let's do it. Hope and it works. I'm gonna invent or create. Yeah. Yep. Click on your pilot token and click the trigger button. Put in trigger. Put in the bonus and then just throw it all out. Perfect. Fourteen. You can definitely cook together some weird chemicals and make the warple gun way deadly. And Astaroth, what are you doing reserves wise? I think I want that Omni Scout drone. Mm -hmm. And how I'm gonna look it for it is gonna scrunch and barter, like I said. Because I thought the beginning part was me explaining that instead of what oh. happened. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, All that's right. good. Let's see if you can get the Copernicus. Omni Scout Drone, which allows you to basically uh, lock onto I'm every enemy then... once, per, once per mission. Can I use Charm? Uh, well, sell it to me. How are you charming your way to a Scout Drone? Well, yeah, it's it's more barter than scrounging. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so using my charm, <laughs> charming looks and just demeanor to get that l lesser price lower price all right so instead of commissioning like you know putting in the paperwork getting one from the station you want to indeed go out and just buy your own that's fair i respect it <laughs> yeah let's do it uh, you can click on your pilot token and the number two button is triggers and you can type in charm that's perfect a that's a 12 12 is enough so once permission as a protocol, you can apply lock on to every enemy on the map, which is pretty darn powerful. Heck yeah. And dialect. What are we doing reserves wise? So are the reserves exclusive or can we pick up the same ones? You can pick up the same ones if you like. All right. In that case, 
I am going to also go for the hypercaustic rounds. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to hopefully use get a hold of something to get in contact with my old DOJ contacts in the Liberators and let them know that I'm being deployed against uh, a possible utopian uh, pillar violation by this Harmon Medical Organization. And uh, since they're not out here to clean it up for her, for us, mind throwing something good my way? All right, and... sounds good to me. All right. Uh, no accuracy difficulty. No. Bam. Easy. The easy 19. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you will be sent, you know, rounds for your CPR that are literally just bullets glass tipped or crystal tipped of the most disgustingly caustic acid you can imagine. Rock. And opera. Um, firstly, because. Uh, someone already else grabbed the Copernicus on enemy scout drone. I now no longer need to feel like grabbing that. Um, I was thinking of grabbing the NK Mark II Legacy Turret, which. Oh, before I even get anything done, let's check up on how the the R and D department's going. That Opus got stuff to get organized. Opera, I'm afraid we shut down the R and D department. Oh, is, is that get organized thing just non-existent now? Yes. Mainly because you're the only one who took it. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. Um, we cut yeah, your funds. Okay. We cut your funds in the break. Uh, yep. Too Sorry. real. Too real. Cut your funds because no one else was supporting the... <laughs> You were the only one. You were the only member of the RD department. We cut your funds. The entire server. That's so funny. I'm just... <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, uh, I, that's sad because I was actually going to try and use it for the uh, Mark II Legacy Turtle. Okay, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you something here. Uh, there's still some, there's still some, you know, there's still some stuff in there. So we're going to... Let's see, what was it at at the end? We're gonna we're gonna oh, wrap God. all that up into one bonus, and you can use it, and that's gonna be it for the R and D department. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't it even it, need that. <laughs> it was it was a plus for efficiency and plus to influence. So you can give yourself a big fat plus six on this roll. Okay. Basically, he was gonna see like with the last influence you get before the uh, the department goes, since he I felt like because Opera is obviously heavily tied into drones and whatnot that he would have some hands in. The, the turret development on the station. Uh, definitely, yeah. Sounds good to be. Yeah, that's what I figured. They would make that modifier apply to this. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get a hold of that Mark II turret legacy drone. And just plus six? Plus six. Let's see. Ah, yes. fantastic. The last, the last gasp of the R&D department gives you the Mark II legacy turret, which will be plus. orbital dropped. Onto the battlefield, and uh, yeah, it's a turret, and it's great, and uh, you can put the HP in and stuff, and it deals uh, six damage. Perfect. That's a hurdy turret. <laughs> it's very good. That's why I wanted it. <laughs> uh, say goodbye. Yeah. Say goodbye to the to the old turrets. These are the new turrets. Yes. <laughs> I do uh, like the new turrets as well. The old turrets were freaking sturdy. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, they do. They do look quite beefy in comparison, but the uh, these ones look far more futuristic and more accurate, I guess. Though the actual output they deal. And with that, we can make our way down to the planet's surface. Give me a moment to fetch your mechs. Uh, don't forget to give yourself four stress and four structure. There's a height uh, legend. There's now a height legend. Yep. Uh, so we beautiful. made the we made the terrain a bit clearer with uh, borders, and uh, you can see the height of the terrain based on the color in the top right and uh, top left. That's fantastic. Uh, dialect. Sorry, uh, we didn't talk about this. Uh, if you click on your Mac. Uh, there's a mm -hmm. bunch of status symbols uh, underneath. There's the circle symbol. Yep. 
I'm familiar with roll 20. Perfect. How do you do the numbers, though? Uh, you hover over the symbol and press the number 4 on your keyboard. Beautiful. Great. Ah, uh, yes. I didn't... I forgot to communicate this with the party. So, with the... Um, do you, are you all familiar with the Orochi drone? Yes. Which drone do you want? Existing. I mean, we're probably good on Guardian simply because we've got a Gorgon to hide or hide behind. Uh, and, and it sounds like two of us are packing heavy, heavily powerful burn weapons, so we can likely go without Shred. So probably Hunter. I like Hunter. We're gonna do we're gonna have to <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> So this first mission is a gauntlet mission. Uh, you can place yourself in the first two rows on the left side. Uh, the control zone is the beige tiles. That is where uh, the entrance to this prison camp is, the black side. Mm -hmm. uh, you have six rounds. At the end of the sixth round, there have to be more PCs uh, than NPCs on those beige tiles. Uh. Right, and there, there's no enemies on the field yet. Uh, that we there can see. is. I'm just looking for the turn tracker right now. I might have just freaking deleted. Oh no, it's in the system templates. Never mind. Question yeah. for the plants: Are they thick enough to provide hard cover and block line of sight? All right, terrain-wise, um, the mushrooms are soft cover and difficult terrain. Um, okay. The pipes and stuff is hard cover. The buildings as well. Uh, the acid pits are acid pits. Uh, they count as water. If you enter them, you become slowed until the uh, end of your next turn. Uh, sorry, and, until the end of your current turn. Uh, and you take three burn if you move into them. Okay. Which doesn't take effect if we fly over them? Correct. Wonderful. Uh, so, six rounds. Yeah, let's, let's cuddle the Gorgon. <laughs> Opposing you are Harmon Medical Organization X. Uh, four of them. A hive, two assaults, and one mirage. Good call on the hunter. <laughs> Nobody can tell if there's reinforcements on the way, but probably there are. So watch out for those. And with that, let's go with this one. Um, so I do have my usual stick of a spike round of getting everyone for overshield, if you want me to take my turn first with that in mind. Sure. Sounds uh, good to me. Overshield is always nice. Okay, so what we're gonna go ahead and do, is first thing first on my turn, is to... Where are you? Where do I look for my talents? I forget. Uh, did you put them in the bottom left bar? Aha! Uh -huh. um, they're not in my bottom left bar. Wonderful. In you that case, to... go to the top right, to the burger menu, and put your talents in the back row bar, like your dice. Oh, okay. But essentially, the... Is it alright if I just say what happens? For now? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, because I've done it every time. Essentially, I'm just going to go ahead and load the pile right here. And then everyone is going to. I'm going to draw a line through every one of the parties as they're. Yeah, invigorated. You got it. And drone commander three. Everyone gets four over shield. Even the drone, because I count drones. And we actually have an over shield symbol. I remember this. We do. Excellent. Yes, it's that shield symbol in the. Um, when you open up the icon. And then with the rest of my movements. The real and question is, do I know where hungry. all the sounds on my keyboard are anymore? <laughs> <laughs> you could warm up. Uh, and the Rookie Hunter with his base movement is going to follow me into the suit. And then I'm going to... I'm either going to boost or get something down. Like, how, what's your speed, Hothead? Four. Mmm. Slow. So I'm thinking about what to do with my last <laughs> quick, remaining quick action. And I'm honestly thinking of just boosting into getting 
in there for Havoc, so let's just go ahead and boost with my light remaining quick action over here. And then that will be everything for my turn. All right. Um, I think we'll do the hive first. It's going to move and... Oh, does it even matter? Ten is there. I don't think it can reach, actually. Let's do an assault. That's easier. The assault will... Just move and boost to here. And I think that's going to be it for the assault. Any of you have anything you want to do right off the bat? Or I don't think anyone's in range of any enemies already, right? Not really. That is correct. The cyclone's got a range of 15, but even with the, even with move and boost, it's going to be at least another turn. Are these uh, these yellow shrubs like soft cover that can be moved? Yes, or? that is uh, the mushroom tiles. They are size one, soft cover, difficult right? Okay. Um, what, do you have an idea of where you want to be going through high head? Um, yeah, probably through the mushrooms, and I think if I set up next. That would probably be good for us. But um, if you guys no stay close together, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, then I think I'll just take my turn. Um, let me just confirm one thing. All right, cool. I am going to move, boost, and set up my shield. Ooh. Well, Hothead, you're lucky. We made your shield in the break, all right? We did it. We made it. <laughs> Do you want to pull it out, or should I pull it out? Wait, I, uh, yeah, let me try it. It's under templates, deployables, markers, bursts, and blasts, size 2, burst 3. Perfect. Give it a cool color. I mean, it's pretty neat. Okay, this is way bigger than I thought it was. Oh yeah, it's huge. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> enormous. Holy shit, this is super useful. I feel like mm -hmm. a scout now. Anyway, um, that is my turn. That is the Enclave Pattern Support Shield. Pretty neat device. Yeah, that's real nice. <laughs> Yep, uh, I guess if you get into soft cover, it's practically hard cover now, and I can help if you end up getting shot. Plus, if we hide behind you, it's better than hard cover. Yes. Um, the Mirage is going to activate and teleport. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, glitch scanners on the hive. Uh, what this does is it causes the hive to teleport five spaces. Uh, the remarsh itself will then teleport. Always teleports if it moves. And I think it's just going to teleport twice, actually. And of course, Mirage always invisible. Mm. And that's its turn. Alright. I'm fine going last if you want to move up, Astroth. Yeah, I'll, I'll move up. Uh, move and boost uh, right here. And I think that's all I can do. I believe because... That's a quick action and... Um, or no, that's a move and a boost. And then I have two quick actions, which... I... Let me... Uh, Do you have a weapon that range. goes 15 range? No. Okay. No, I don't. <laughs> so... I'll end my turn. Uh, you can probably uh, quick tech bo uh, either... Lock on oh, or 
I mean, depending on your oh, sensor. Oh, actually, I do have tech actions. I can mm -hmm. use. Yeah, Everest is like wandering nightmare. Ooh. No. Oh. Let's bust out the wandering nightmare, shall we? Uh, that is a blast too. There you go. Can plonk that um, down in sensor range. Sensor range is ten, right, or fifteen? Yep. Or ten for an Everest. And what's a wandering nightmare color? Purple. Yeah. I think here would make sense, right? Or uh, here. Yep. Here. Yeah, that cuts off that whole route. Yeah. Wonderful. And that is my turn. I already clicked the end turn button. So. You got it. No problem. So what happens in there? Within cannot take reactions, and if they start the turn in it, they must succeed on a system save or take five, or take uh, two heat and become slowed. All right. So I think we can just move into there. That's all right. And we'll try to hack you, bro. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. The classic. Um, the thing we'll be doing with you, because it's funny. Uh, we'll be doing a drone barrage. Is that? Uh, it is at neutral, I believe. Seventeen. That still gets my E defense. You can now decide. Do you want to get immobilized and impaired, or would you like to move your spe five spaces in a direction chosen by live? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that is. I know your game, you rogue. I'm gonna be immobilized. <laughs> Thank you very much. Alright. You become impaired and immobilized. Mobilized and impaired. Uh, has one quick action left. We're just gonna put out the razor swarms. Oh. By the way, Ralph, uh, yep. it says quick tech on the Wandering Nightmare thing macro, mm -hmm. but it's actually a full tech, apparently. Is it a full tech? Yeah, it's a oh, full boy. tech. Oh boy. Let's write it down. Thank you very much. So, so we're putting down a Razor Swarm mm. within sensors, recharges on the phone up. And if you walk into there... In that case, I should have used Overwatch, or not over Overcharge, I think, for, to be able to do that, right? Uh, or, or you could use yep. Initiative. Correct. Initiative, yeah, I'll use Initiative. There. <laughs> we'll put the blast there, and that is the hive star. That leaves you dialect, yeah. Yep. Question: Firing through friendly mechs, does it provide cover? Nope. Excellent. Just In that see. case, um, dialect is going to activate initiative to move and boost behind the Astaroth. And then we're going to take the barrage action, and within range 15, mm -hmm. no cover. That should be a direct shot with the Cyclone Pulse Rifle. Absolutely it is. So it's got one accuracy by default. Uh, it says input value amount. Uh, yep, that is the accuracy value. So if you have one accuracy, uh, just type in number one. No plus, no Ds, no Xs, and that is 10 damage. All right. Uh, so that's actually five kinetic and five burn. Absolutely it is. As your acid rounds splash against the hive. And that would be Dialect's turn. Right. I'm not sure why it just GM rolled a one. Uh, because otherwise I can't put you in turn order. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Yeah, have to have to roll something. Um, the assault over here is going to move and boost to there. Actually, and cover. 
And that is going to be it for round one. Entering round two out of six, uh, we'll get friends from uh -oh, the top friends. of the map. Three disgusting looking creatures lumber into the fray. Oh dear. That is less than ideal. Oh, you look pretty scary. One flesh head monstrosity and two flesh giants. Eager to join the battle. Whack. And who would like to go first? I can't move this turn, so it's probably best if I go last. Um I mean I kinda wanna wait a turn or two, maybe. Is the hive within your range? Me? Opera? Yes! But also... some other things. <laughs> Could you get a lock on on it before my turn? Or why mm. any of you? I don't know. What's a Gorgon sensor is like? Eight. Four. <laughs> no, it's never mind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, never mind. Yeah, like that's the only thing I could think of if someone wanted to do something on their turn as well as locking on to that hive before my turn started. That yeah. would make my life easy, but... What was the orange thing again? This orange thing? Well, yeah, that is the swarm. Hive's Razor Swarm. If you walk into there, take two burn. Hmm. Alright. Uh, let me check. It's too far away, unfortunately. And the height of the... These pipes over here are... One. Size one. one, right? Yep, correct. Alright. So, I guess the time to do to... You have a spike Let's round. Let's see if I can walk around mm. uh, wood. Two, three. Mm. And where would I need to end my turn? Here? You could stand or... on top of the pipe, probably, if you wanted. Then... Absolutely can, yep. And then... And then here... And then lock on? Would that make sense? Yeah, um... Actually, it if you're not comfortable... Open. If you're not com no. if no one's comfortable taking their turn first, I can just go ahead and take my turn first and then, like just get that done. And I ha I have a spike trick I can do. It would just be a little bit um inaccurate, and that's the only issue. So does everyone just want me to go ahead and try that out and see if no, they get? I, I also have uh I have smoke grenades and shit. I can cover myself later. Okay. If if you feel confident about doing that, just to make it to where I can do something a bit more spicy on my turn, then you can. I just that's a that's a you okay. decision because that's. I can just stand on the, on yep. the here. Yeah, you can just, yeah can... just stand behind the cover basically. You can just get a lock on off and maybe something else and then, yeah, yeah it'll be worth value. Trust me. Yeah, I'll walk over here and then. You need at least one more space to lock on. I need one more space? Uh, it's yeah, range 10, right? You just need to waddle, waddle onto that and then waddle back because oh, that's... Fuck. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, uh, and then... Yeah, lock on. Uh, on the hive. On the hive, perfect. That poor hive. <laughs> And I still have another quick action? Uh, yeah. you just moved, yep. Got more quick left. I will... Um... Let me... Um... Uh, I will... Can I use my Unraveler on it? Uh, definitely. Oh dear. Alright, time to do that. Ooh! <laughs> ooh! <laughs> Alright! 
I think that, that does down? it in. All right. Chill. Scribble, scribble. <laughs> what does an Nerva look like, by the way, Astroth? Uh, I have no idea. It's some lich bullshit. bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you shoot some lich bullshit at the hive, and the hive crumbles to dust. <laughs> that should take out the razor swarm too, yeah? Uh, yep, absolutely does. That's nice. Hilarious. Remind me how long the wandering nightmare is. End of your next turn. Okay, so the nightmare is gonzo. That's hilarious. Spooky. Uh, uh, it's the end of the scene. The slow is just yeah. end of oh, the next sorry. turn. Oh, um... sorry. Lich bullshit lasts forever. <laughs> yes. Oh, scene ends. Okay, perfect. There it is. All right. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. That Beautiful. Is... <laughs> the assault will march forward. Level an assault rifle at you, Opera. You are within the shield, so it will shoot at one difficulty. Yes. Thirteen for six. It absolutely hits. And that is the assault drone. Yeah. What am I doing? I have over shield. There we go. All right. Uh, Opera, do you have range on the assault if you want to do something to it? I mean, yeah. It's... Wait a second. Is it even spicier than I thought? Hold on. Okay, Is it it's not that spicy, spicy? Just yet. Not, not, not spicy yet. Um, but do you have a spike ground you want to do, or are you just going to be... Like, do you have any ideas, or... You want me to just go ahead and do my thing? Yeah, if Dialect doesn't have anything, that's best, because the shield will also go off if I um, if I take my turn. Okay. In that case, then, uh, so you don't have anything you want to do just yet, Dialect? Not yet. Okay. Uh, In that case, then, we're going to go ahead, start my turn. Protocol, turret commander, or drone commander, get the Orochi Hunter up closer to me. Then, with its basic movement, get it to move over here. Uh, for some reason, my left click has been random here, letting go. And, like, double clicking. So I'll double click on that. But, uh, and then the OG Hunter is there. And then, with my actual action economy, we're gonna go ahead and get down your favorite Tempest drone. Right over. Here. Just chugging out from the giant extra box on the back, one of the many drones. Absolutely. Um, electro ball of death sits oh. right onto the assault. Ah, yes. The way you can do it, um, you can either click on the Tempest drone and uh, click Tempest Pulse, or uh, you can click on your mech Tempest drone and click uh, Activate. Uh, if you do I it see. over the drone token, you have to put in your save uh, target because there's no way for the okay. token to know your save target otherwise. Very fair. And then I will also be You know, let's just invade it. Let's just invade the assault. Straight That's up. just invaded. Right. Who cares? Let's just invade it. That's just invaded. And so the actual doing is just a good old invade for fragment signal for on the assaults for does that hit its events? Barely, but yes. Ah, Slowed good. and impaired. Yep. And because I'm immobilized Oh, that was with one difficulty. I'm so oh, sorry. Oh then roll me a D6, six, please. Yeah, that might actually make it not work. Oh yeah, it doesn't, doesn't. That will definitely not make it work. Yep, so that that's my turn. Cause I, uh, do I get rid of the mobilized and impaired now? Yes, you do. Fantastic. That is... The flash head will move, and aren't all of you excited to figure out what the flash head is? 
Yes, I sure, excited. Know. Let's go with that. <laughs> Let's go with excited. Uh, turns I'm out. I'm guessing cataphract. Cataphract. Oh, it's a good, it's a good one, but no. Um, Astaroth. What's your E defense? Oh, oh shit, it's a witch. Uh, my E defense is eight. <laughs> uh, why don't you take that heavy charge bit of yours and give Oprah a good whack? Alright. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, no accuracy or anything. Oh, come on. Is that... Are you serious with that damage roll? <laughs> <laughs> The problem is that Opera's used to uh, Astaroth hitting him on a count did for. Alright, yeah, that, is, uh, <laughs> that is armor piercing, so keep that in mind. Yes, I did take all four of that. And um, for the second tech action, we'll use the blind on you, Astaroth, also. <laughs> Alright, okay. you are blinded. You can only see the space adjacent to you. Okay then. Until the end of your next turn. And that is the flesh head. Alright, I like shoot it, shoot it. Shoot. Okay, so good news, bad news. What? There the bad news is there is no good news. <laughs> My secondary weapons are smart. And it's a witch. Uh, it's also biological though. Oh, true. It's, so it's, it's... it's E defense is practically non existent. Um, disregard the fact that I'm blatantly cheating by having a biological use deck attacks. It's in Fair your enough. <laughs> um, Yeah. In that case, Hothead, you still want me to throw out a lock on in addition to my move? Um, yeah, if you. I, I don't think I can really use the lock on. Oh, actually, yeah, I already have like kind of accuracy. So if you have anything else you'd rather do, that's fine. Unfortunately, not for this scenario right now. I mean, oh, actually, mm -hmm. there is one thing I could do. I could go after that assault and possibly do some unkindness to it. This assault's going to get cyberbullied. Don't worry about it. But, I mean, you can also still shoot it. Yeah, I mean, the other option is basically just get behind Opera and reload. I'd honestly say that it's acceptable to aggressively go through. Um, but, I don't know. It's hard to say. Also, if you want immunity to tech attacks, stand next to me. Good to know. <laughs> What do you mean immunity, okay? Chill. <laughs> you, uh, hothead, are you gonna be still immobilized on your turn? Yeah, I can't move at all. Okay. Not not immunity, but like, Ralph will think twice before he's <laughs> attacking you. Or will I? Okay. Reckless disregard, dab! <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. You know, we're gonna try a combo. Uh, dialect is going to move behind Opera. And uh, then we're going to tech twice. Mm -hmm. We're going to full tech to lock on to this assault. Yep. And then we're going to immediately burn that lock on to fragmented signal. Accuracy. That does and it. if it could crit, that would crit. And now, in addition, I am going to hack it. Perfect. It can choose to take an extra two heat or be pushed three spaces in a direction of my choice. No, take the push, please, by all means. <laughs> all right. In that case, I'm going to scoot him right here and trigger the Tempest Drone and hopefully punt him into the Wandering Nightmare. Oh, does the trigger the Tempest Drone? Does it adjacent. in your book? Let's it, find out. It moves, it's moving adjacent to it. On a round, it doesn't have to be on its turn. Yeah, yeah. yeah let me just check it out. Systems, Tempest Drone, boy. 
Uh, nope, that's not it. Let me no, check the activation. activation. Yep. Any character that starts their turn adjacent to the short or moves adjacent to it for the first time in a round must succeed on a whole. I don't know Bump how you want to rule that. No. I, yeah, I don't. It's not, it's not moving adjacent just, for the first time. It was adjacent. It was already adjacent. It was already yeah. adjacent. But that Fair will enough. punt it. If it does fail now, it will punt it. It will put it in the wandering nightmare. Yeah, Except so. the mirage uses his reaction to blip. After you take your full tech to teleport the assault. Am I within line of sight? Yes. Uh, you can see over the size one, no problem. Okay. Well. Uh, four, five spaces. Well, I tried to do a cool thing. You're all right. That actually oh, doesn't now change it's... my plans very much. And it. It's still slowed and impaired, though. I succeeded on my fragment yep. signal. True. Definitely is. Slowed and impaired. Okay, and that should be me. Um, I think we're putting another assault into the Wandering Nightmare. This one up. And then, you know, Hothead. Let's do it. At one difficulty, I believe. Anything else? Um, I'm behind these mushrooms, but I guess I'm too big to get too covered. large. Skirmisher? Skirmisher? Uh, yes, I didn't attack. Yes, I have one. I have soft cover from that as well. 19. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. I'm just going to take my reaction with the blink field. Or does that say allies only? No, it doesn't say allies. Alright, let me just hit that. That is a really cool sound for this. It just sounds like you caught the bullet. Yep. Gain resistance to the attack, or against the attack, and uh, yeah. That is the assault turn. Alright, that leaves me. I am going to... Um, Skirmish. I'm going to lock on to the assault closest to me and skirmish with my light nexuses. Um, I'm going to use the lock on for the second attack, so both are at two accuracy. Perfect. That's because of the core power, right? Uh, no, because of yeah, core bonus and uh, gunslinger one gives me perfect. Yeah, that is two damage. And the second light next is. Ooh. Ah, what? Crit. <laughs> what you don't have no, sentiment me... anymore, right? No, I do. You do? Ah. Perfect. I think both sentiment one and two trigger on this. He uh, yep. is going to lose his shredded, and he has to make a system saves. But he's already impaired and slowed, so there's no point. Yep, correct. So just shredded, and at the end of my turn, the sheet is going to go. But I'm just going to keep it on the side in case I need it again. Yep, definitely. Actually, we can, uh, yeah, not perfect, we got it. Uh, shredded is the symbol. He's collecting quite a few of those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and one minute, let me hit that button. All right, the Mirage left, and then two Flash Giants. Let's do the Mirage. Uh, the Mirage will use its Glitch Scanners to move the two Flash Giants five spaces. It's then going to hand over as a quick action its invisibility status to this soul up here. And it'll then teleport five spaces 
onto this pipe. Get a better look at you. Um, and then two flash shines. Ah yes, observe the flash giant. It's natural habitat. Oh, natural, you say? <laughs> Move and boost all the way up to there, and it's going to start eating the orochi. You're gonna give my orochi hunter a hug? Oh my yep. god! One big ol' hug. Or six kinetic. Okay, absolutely hits into its seven eat evasion. Uh, thank goodness for overshield. Let's see what the other flesh shine does. Uh, the same. Twenty-three for six. Intriguing. As these disgusting mutants just rip into your drone. Your drone's pretty sturdy, but they're starting it through. Yep. And we're going to round three. So I'm going to tell you right now, there is a target-rich environment that you do not even know. And I'm going to encourage you to let me take my turn. Go for it. <laughs> so, first things first, drone commander occurs which the protocol I with the movement I'll make it through with is the Tempest Drone. Let me get one, two, three, where it avoids engagement with the um, with the Flesh Giants before it gets to there. Definitely. And, and then I'm going to do my first overcharge of this game, doing a quick action redeploy with the Orochi Hunter, placing it right over here. And with my remaining, yeah, first overcharge, and then with my full action, we're going to employ the Annihilation Nexus. Yes. <laughs> As a giant electric burst emits from the Orochi Hunter, I am aware this attack hits the Tempest Drone, but I do not care. That is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> All um, right. Hey, it's got resistance. You'll be fine. <laughs> exactly. So let's go ahead. Well, let's roll the damage first. Annihilation Nexus. Fantastic. Okay. And then... Against the, the attack roll. Assault? Yeah, Assault, the two Flesh Giants, mm -hmm. top one, then bottom one, and then mm -hmm. the Tempest Drone. That's how, yeah. And two pieces of pipe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where do I roll my... Uh, AoE roll attack, attack roll. Board? AoE attack roll, gotcha. Um, this is at neutral for everything, because yep. there's no accuracy going in, so let's just... Against the assault, that's, that's a hit. Assault. Uh, and the assault... Yep, we'll hunker down response and take four. Makes sense. Top flesh giant. Honor. Yep. 20, that crits, let's see uh -huh. if I roll six on the damage roll. Nope, it's still eight damage, eight armor piercing, if that means yep. anything to you. And then for the bottom plus giant. That's a hit, barely. That's fantastic. And then let's see if I hit my own for the Tempest Drone, which has 10 E defense because it is not in a Rochi. Nope. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Nice. I'm happy with my turn. Have a good day. Wonderful. Um, hmm. We need to move up. Let's do this flesh giant. Yeah. Can you give me the Tempest Drone real quick? Uh, Flesh Giant and Tempest Drone activation? Sure. Yep. Oh no, it's coming to say hi. <laughs> it's it's it, coming it to say hi. It needs to do a hold save, or take 400 damage to get punted, and take two heat. Um, yeah. Oh, it saved. Uh, it did save, unfortunately. It approaches you. Expected. It claws at you. Also expected. It hits. Or six kinetic. Uh, now, it would regenerate a chunk of HP, but it took energy damage. Womp, womp. And I'm gonna shoot it with one of my Warper guns, the caustic one. Oh dear. Alright. It does have hardcover, but go for it. Um, 
Oh, but aren't I like a size two and I can see over this? Uh, yeah, but it's a Jason. Uh, mm, yeah. Oh. Let's do that. Uh, that's a miss. <laughs> Good damage, though. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. And I can do fashion. it again because I have one more reaction, but True. I'm, yep. not sure. I'm not sure if it's worth it. I don't think uh, it is yet. <laughs> okay. All right, then I will uh, hold off on that. And that is the flash transfer. Uh, mm -hmm. I am. Um, I can go up next to it and whack it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you're a melee. Get in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Start mixing uh, it up. Yeah. All right. Move adjacent to it. Uh, barrage with the giant. First with my heavy wild, and second with my main. Absolutely. That is a heavy charge blade and a tactical melee. Yes. Oh. That misses. And the tactical melee. This as well. And at the end of uh, your mirage action, the mirage will lift. Put the flash shine behind you, dialect. All right. And I still haven't ended in my turn. That's actually great. Uh, I'm gonna, and I can still move the remaining of my. Yes, damage, right? absolutely. Yes, the Rochi Hunter. You can hug. Don't hug the Tempest, please. It will still punch you like a pinball. Yeah, will it? Yes, it does. It does the Tempest drone <laughs> does not discriminate at all. It hates <laughs> every living anything. being equally. <laughs> uh, do I want to overcharge to try to kill that uh, thing? It do you have your initiative? Oh. No. Yeah, it's do shredded. Have, so. Do you it have your shredded initiative? And so? used, uh... I oh, have sorry, it can't use Hunker Down at all. It's super dead, actually. Yeah, because it's shredded. Yeah, it ah! Oh, you did use initiative? Um, I still respect uh, overcharge, yeah. That's a good call. Yeah, overcharge use... Uh, I guess I have to use my prototype. Uh, well, you can still... Uh, nope. You can do your heavy charge plate if you want. Yep, with overcharge... It's you prefer. Oh, okay. With overcharge then limitation I'll... doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, in that case, I will overcharge. Yep, you can go to nine. basics, and then there's a button, a uh, number one button, overcharge. Just... Oh, wait. Uh, basics and overcharge. Mm -hmm. Perfect. There we go. And then... Heavy mount. The skirmish. Against the assault. <laughs> Jesus! All Oof. right. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Sigh. Enter. All right. Before uh, that assault eats it entirely, uh, it's going to barrage. It will uh, try and fire its machine gun into the Orochi drone and give you the old knife, Astroff. Uh, one heavy assault okay. rifle at two difficulty because engaged and impaired into the Orochi drone. <laughs> Miss for two Intriguing. damage for yep. one knife no, comes your way. Yes. One knife with one difficulty in your face, Astroff, for minus two and no damage. <laughs> nice. And that is the assault turn. Clears impaired, shredded, and slow. Not shredded. Not shredded? Shredded is oh, Hothead's turn. Could I make oh, a gotcha. system save for me real quick? Because I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, just, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm a, I'll use that reaction since that's next to it. Yep. I don't think it, it really matters. Takes the system safe but... at one difficulty. Four minus one becomes locked on. Take, takes two heat and is locked on because of a less open, open door. door. Yep. Perfect. Yes. It's under frame I features, don't... by the way. Sorry, wrong frame yes. features. Yeah. There. 
I need Great. to start clicking these things more aptly. That assault is not having a good time. <laughs> it is not. Yeah, so Dyla, can you shoot that assault? Because if I start, it loses shredded and it could hunker down. Totally. Um, this, the problem is that Dialex is right next to a flesh giant, and so I'm, get, I'm gets... not worried about the flesh giant. I can get out of that. Oh, you can just disrespect it. Okay. Yeah, it it'll use one of my actions, but I can deal with it. Okay. Yeah, I trust them. All right. So I will pick the next turn then. I'm going to start in prowl mode. <gasps> so. I'm going to immediately hide, dropping engaged. Yep. Um, which one is, or it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna clear hidden on the same action. Correct. Gonna base move over here. Yep. And I'm gonna skirmish with my two light nexus to might as well burn the lock on on, mm -hmm. on the first one. Uh, All right, hit. 15 for one damage. <laughs> and then the second one. Another without one. Without lock on, 13. And the drones utterly shred this assault back. All right, and that would be my turn. And In Hidden is case. most thoroughly dropped. Uh, the bottom flash shine will make a hull save. Yup. Yup. That passes. <laughs> Sorry, move up you. Howl. Claw oh you dear. in the face. It's massive claws for six That's kinetic. High structure. Uh, you do that. Uh, it would normally regenerate a good chunk of its HP, but it took energy damage. So that's I'm not too bad. Uh, it'll oh, use its weird. second quick action to try and ram you to the ground. Does an 8 hit you? Uh, an 8 does still hits my 7 evasion, yes. Perfect. Also, I rolled a 1 on my structure, which means I am Ultra stunned. perfect. You become stunned. Ah, dang it. That means you can't get the freebie on the Nexus, doesn't it? <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll that see you in, I'll see you in two years. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> and that is the second flash shine. All right. That, I guess, leaves me. Um, can I clear stand with stabilize? Yes. OK. Let's um, move up here. And I will, with my action, stabilize. Yep, it's under basic. Do you accept you casualties? Select your things. Easy spy. Right, yeah. and, I, and I think I can only remove one condition, right? So just yes. a stun. Just a stun. Uh, prone is a status anyway, so can't remove that. Oh. Expose is not a condition mm. as well, by the way. <laughs> And I think I'll overcharge to shoot as well. Uh, yep. Who are we shooting? And I'm shooting the flesh giant that... Uh, let's see, the one that just pushed him down. Just like kind of, yep. how dare you? <laughs> how dare you? How dare you hit my nerd buddy and make him structure? Wait, wait uh, does he still have two difficulty right now? Or... No, no, because you're adjacent to no. a piece of cover that will give him difficulty. Great. Great. That's a hit. All right. three. And... Um... I have... Yeah? Are you willing to accept getting Annihilation Nexus? Yeah, I'm fine with that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> just like... Because I could just try to eviscerate both of these right now. On my, when my next round comes Oof. up. We should also try to okay. make it to the point. It, 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 we can't shred it. 
It becomes, gets to make a uh, system save. It's not shredded because I had to consume uh, lock on for the shredded thing. Oh, gotcha. Okay, and uh, with Skirmisher 2, I'll move back two spaces and go adjacent to dialect. That also helps. Uh, you take a hit in the face from this flash giant. Oh, I think mm -hmm. Skirmisher 2 ignores. Yeah, it? yeah, it ignores oh, engagement. Perfect. Doesn't provoke. Yeah. You might. I think you're able to move. Are you able to move to like here, so you can just avoid my annihilation nexus entirely? Yep. Yeah. That way you and don't even get hit. Look at me. I'm a team player. <laughs> 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 Right. I think we know who's taking the first turn next time. All right, mm -hmm. team player. Um, this is Soul. We'll move to over here. Uh, it'll... Uh, this would have to save for the Wonder oh, Nightmare. Oh, it does, yep. Can you put the Nightmare in chat again, Astro? Uh, that would be a pain, yes. Perfect. System uh, save or take stay. two heat becomes slowed. Uh, nine. What's your save target? Ten or eleven right now. Yeah, it says right there. Haha, -ha, genius. It says right there. Uh, takes to heat, becomes slowed, which does not matter that much. Uh, anything else? No. Okay, so just moves to there. Uh, it's going to be Rash. It's going to knife the Orochi and uh, assault rifle you in the face, Astroth. Okay. One knife into the Orochi drone. Oh, that's a mess. That was my hit evasion 7. Yep. So the assault rifle shoots at one difficulty because it is now engaged with the Orochi. And that's a 2, and you take 2 from Reliable Astro. Um, I'm going to shoot him because he did damage. Uh, yep. yep. Uh, roll me a d2. That's the soul is currently invisible. Uh... Ooh. Ooh, that number Mission. happened. <laughs> it's the overshield first, right? The reliable? Yes, it's the overshield mm -hmm. first. Uh, it's a two difficulty because it is hunkering down behind his assault friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a miss. Oh well. And that is the assault on. And I think every player went? Yes. Yep. We are okay, done. So we just have a Mirage and, and a Witch left. Uh, the Witch will go, we'll try to recharge stuff. Oh no! Terrible! That's everything! Disaster! Calamity. Wait! They're not here. The Witch will move to there. Um... <clears throat> you can make a second attack with this weapon from the start of your next turn. The protocol is second blah, blah, blah. You may send it on either yourself or any other. I don't think you can that do that because super heavies can't be used as a oh, reaction. Yeah. It's only with Chris Gorman Show. Yeah, you're right. Better luck next time, Opera. <laughs> okay. Uh, in that case, we will predatory logic on you, Astroth, and we'll try to have you charge it. Well, it's just in good places all the time, sorry. Yes. 22, uh, please use your heavy charge blade to eliminate this Orochi next to you. Thank you very much. Oh no! That unfortunately hits 7 evasion. It's not. Your Orochi Goodbye, Jim. explodes. As a second tech action, we shall use Tear Down, and we will use Tear Down on you, Astaroth. Three okay. doesn't do it. That is the right. flash head. And the Mirage. Moved over here, regains its reaction. Um it's going to Glitch scanners question mark. First, it's going to warp sensors on you, Astaroth. Uh, that okay. is at one accuracy in build. 18. Take two heed and all your attacks uh, treat everything as soft cover, which doesn't really matter on your melee attacks, but here we are. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, never mind. 
and That's we fine. will then use glitch scanners to teleport two of its allies five spaces. We'll be putting flesh shine right there, and we're putting flesh shine right there. Mm. And that is its turn. We're going to round four. Okay. Wanted to do what again? Um, I'd like to go first. <laughs> I believe that. Go for it. Hmm. Um, I am going to start with a skirmish, and as part of that, move forward two steps. Could I request that you? Uh, murder the one next to me so both of us are unengaged. <laughs> it's still some more damage, like I sick. think. Yeah, okay, so yeah. Um, yeah, I'll shoot the one next to you. But is is it... Um, does it have difficulty because he's engaged with um, nope. dialect? Nope. Alright, shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh... Yes, that's a hit. And he can make a system save to be impaired or slowed. Though we can check if it matters at all. 14 does it. it. And that's a miss. Oh. And, and I will overcharge second time. Mm -hmm. uh, Take two heat. Okay, two heat and um, shoot again. Uh, oh, I, I forgot okay. to clear my heat on the last stabilize, so I, I'm, I'm still oh, yeah. at two. Yep, perfect. <laughs> Look what they did to my boy. Yep, that does it. That <laughs> is exactly a kill. And I have one last shot, and I've re I've filled up my gunslinger at this point, so I'm gonna call it and shoot the other shot. I'm afraid before you declare, before you make all your attacks, you have to declare the targets. So it's just lost. You don't have to make the attack, but you can't because you you know you feel. Uh, Wait, but I knew he would die on this first shot. Ah, I see. Likely. In that case, you should have told me the second shot <laughs> guaranteed goes into the other one. Alright. <laughs> uh, Great. Um, also, my warples have reload. At least yep. I have them. Definitely. Is that your turn? It is perfect. Uh, this flash giant will storm over to you. It will uh, claw at you, hothead. For nine, six. Yeah, that. <coughs> it didn't take energy damage between its last turn and this turn, so it regenerates five HP. Gross. Very gross. Uh, can I go to try to kill that player that assault, or does anyone else have something in particular? I mean, Flesh Giant's not done. <laughs> uh, Flesh Giant is fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, go it for can't, it. Are can't you? ram Hothead because Hothead's too big. <laughs> is this uh, Master Off? Yeah. I'm gonna keep the 100 with you. I think we should prioritize the Mirage while it's vulnerable. Yeah, the assault's invisible yeah. right now. And oh, okay. so, in, and, in which you... case, I want to do my turn so I can okay. clear the path for you, because there's currently a tempest drone between you and it. Yeah. And I also <laughs> yeah, want to get my point. annihilation nexus on something. Cool. You know what I mean? Is that all right with yeah, you? Yeah, that's fine. Go take your turn. Okay. So first things first. Protocol, tempest drone, swoosts, right over there, and I did it through the. Um, Tile, so it doesn't get engaged with the Mirage or anything like that. And then with my additional protocol, we will be reactivating the Annihilation Nexus I activated on my last turn. So let's see what damage goes out. That's oh. only four energy damage. That's very little. 
and this will be going against E defense, of which I'm probably sure that Mirage has plenty. Let's see that how that. Bang. Yep, How's more that? than that. <laughs> That's what I thought. Um, basic movement to stand up for myself, yep. and then with my actual action economy, now I can consider things. <laughs> Right, yes, actions. We get to take those. <laughs> we, we take those, yep. We, we, we take actual action. <laughs> actions. Actions, uh, we take those, definitely. You know what we're gonna do. I really don't like the Mirage. I think it looked at me funny. <laughs> we're gonna overcharge. Yep. For the second time. So let's go ahead and get basics. Overcharging for the second time. Like another one Fantastic. <laughs> that overcharges the using the quick tech lock on onto that mirage. And so what's gonna happen now is I with my full action, we're activating the Anni annihilation nexus again. No way. Consuming that lock on. And that also because the lock on became consumed, where the hell is drone commander to? Uh, bottom bar, ideally. Bottom bar. If you put it there. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to do that. Like it does. In that case, uh, top right, the collections menu. You'll collections. take it into your bar. What do I look at collections? The um. It's the burger menu in the top right, next to the cogwheel. Oh, I see. The uh, three things. Yep. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Drone commander in bar, and then drone commander two. Here he is. Wonderful. Got it. Jeez. And then, are you alright? De de immediately dealt six energy damage to it. No faff. No excuses. <laughs> and now we're actually rolling the uh, the annihilation nexus is damage, which was seven, and the attack roll, which has one accuracy because of lock on. How like would you like them apples? <laughs> And I believe that uninvisibles the assault as well. Correct. Nice. That's, that was the plan. <laughs> okay, so Astro scratched everything I said. Have a have a nice day. That's my turn. <laughs> Ram it into the goo. <laughs> oh my! The witch will go, and it tore you down, Astro. So that means you take four heat. Oh boy, I'm at exactly 7 heat. Uh, the witch tries to recharge the systems, does not manage to recharge the predatory logic. Very sad. Mm -hmm. Very sad indeed. Um, we're going to try and in... Actually, no, we're going to uh, make a teardown against you, Astaroth. Gonna be full tech, teardown against you and blind against you, dialect. Alright. Uh, you take one heat, Astroth. And he disappears. <laughs> and yep. Hothead, you said something about providing tech defense while next to you? Yeah, if it misses you, the witch is a bit screwed, but it won't miss. Yeah. <laughs> I believe in the witch. Uh, prank pictures, right? No, basics. Basics. Uh, Eight? Oh, Nine. Ah, and come on. One point of systems. <laughs> uh... <laughs> So, you can scorpion him now. So, I just roll a d6. That's a 2. So. Uh, you can roll a d6. You can also, under basics, we now have a damage result. Oh, okay. I rolled a d6, so overheating result, 2 to 4. That is, that is exposed. That is exposed. You're exposed, Azeroth. Okay. And, uh, oh, yeah. The witch That's is a ideal. bit, bit jammed. <laughs> Rock. No, Never I... have I been glad I have <laughs> one point in systems. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it was with one accuracy too, because it's inbuilt. Damn it. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, it was as close as it could get. 
so now that the main threats are out of the way in my yeah book, i'm planning on moving because if we've got to be there by the end of round six we have two rounds and i've already calced out how i can do it okay Here's a hint. It involves overcharging. <laughs> yep. End of round six. I need more PCs than NPC uh, than NPCs in the zone back there. So yeah, okay. it, this is round three, right? It's round four. This is round four. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I have made a mistake. <laughs> no, it's okay. We can still do it. I've got this. But Astaroth might want to punt the, or no. I want to punt want... things. Yeah, you want to <laughs> punt the assault into the puddle first? Oh yeah, yeah, ramming the assault would be a good idea. Especially yeah. since it's slowed and it won't be able to leave the thing if it's prone. Exactly. Wait, can I can I um, move ram and then continue my move? Yes, you can. Okay, cool. I will attempt to do that then. So moving here to ram. Uh... Basics on attack. Where are you? Third button. Oh, right, on armed attacks. Yeah. And then select RAM. Submit. Perfect, that's a hit. Oh, frick, yeah. I forget Ooh. which... It <laughs> yes. Goo. Into the goo. It takes three burn. One, two, three, four. Into the thing there. And then do I want to... And that was a quick action, right? Yes, I can just Ram is move, quick. move again. Mm -hmm. Over here. So, and that will be my turn. Because I want to run as well, to the point. <laughs> yeah. The assault yeah. is indeed oh. slowed and prone. But prone means you can still move, it's just at half speed. So it will prone oh, move oh. itself outside the acid puddle. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a takes a deep breath. Um, it will then, on its belly, lock onto you, Astroth, and consume the lock on to give her the all. Assault rifle. F. At one accuracy. Sixteen for twelve, so ten damage, and your overshield is gone, though. Right. And I will That's shoot it with one of my warbles, the caustic one. Hopefully, it hits once. Definitely. Uh, you are engaged, so keep in mind. Yeah, that's one difficulty, right? Correct. <laughs> yes! There we go. That'll that hit. It. Uh, so that is three burn on top. Yep. And that is five damage. Right. And mm -hmm. let's see how it does on that engineering save to clear the six burn to not immediately die. Whiff, whiff, whiff. Oh, it whiffs down. <laughs> it burns down to a single point of HP. <laughs> nice. Uh, it will then clear the slowed, and that is its turn. Still All right. Oh, sorry. It, it, was, it was prone, so it would have been neutral, but I don't think it matters. Nope. No, I don't think so. Is it slowed again for being in the goo? Uh, yes, you... Become slowed until the end of your current turn in the goo, basically. So choose oh, okay. that as well. All right. So I am going to. I believe I'm the last one. Yes. Yes. You're yeah. The last one. Yes. Cool. I'm going to move two. I'm going to boost with my jump jet systems to fly over the goo. And two more spaces on my base. I'm then going to overcharge once in basics. Basics, top button is overcharge, and then it's going to ask Wonderful. You how many. Perfect. And boost again. He, he's fast. <laughs> he's fast. <laughs> and that is... Oh, I've still got one action, yeah? Uh, you moved, you moved, boosted, boost, you overshared, yep, double one boost. action left. Definitely. Yeah, so I might as well skirmish the assault with my next eye. That poor assault, yep, he's That'll dead. crit for two. <laughs> he will explode. And that'll be my turn. Great. Well, we have a flesh giant, so what's the matter? <laughs> <laughs> Round five out of six. 
looking pretty good. The flesh giant will accost you, hothead. It's disgusting. Claw like limbs rending your mech for 6 damage. And at the end of each turn, it regenerates 5 HP. Mm. It's not disgusting. And interesting, <laughs> I think. Uh, I mean. You're basically able to just ignore that flesh iron entirely, aren't you, Hothead? Yeah. I mean. I and think the flesh that... head is jammed this turn. Yes. It is. <laughs> it's a very sad turn Four for him. Yes, witches don't like getting jammed. Who knew? My, my hubris. My hubris. <laughs> my hubris. Ah, my hubris. <laughs> ah, right in the hubris. <laughs> right in the hubris. Ah, my petard. <laughs> uh, I'm a, what do you, do you guys have any ideas of what you want to do on your turns yet? I'm just going to move and reload because we need to be there by the end of round six, so I've got it in another mm -hmm. move and boost. That's very smart because during a short rest you cannot reload your weapons. Rules is written. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> but we house ruled it, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, that, that's really funky. But um, yeah, so I've essentially got two turns to get into the zone, so I'm just planning a move stabilized so I can go whenever. I just want to move specifically after Hothead so I can annihilation nexus the, the protocol. Okay. Awesome. Makes sense. Hothead, I take it away. Alright, oh. I will yes. start with the skirmish and use skirmisher to move back for that. And hit a giant. Just the two nexuses. Just crush the wreck. <laughs> it's so small, I don't even notice it. Oh, does that hit? Uh, it's not Yeah, it's very logical. <laughs> Eight. So that is one damage total. Not triggering uh, stuff. Stuff, as in? Uh, uh, Gunstinger. Yeah. No, that's like oh, no. no, no, that's... Uh, I can always use it, but... At this point, it doesn't seem worth a scary to uh, gotcha. And I will use a movers to try and reach the end of this thing. I feel a lot of when I get my goblin license after this. I can move for more. And that's my turn, yeah. Great. Oh, don't be adjacent to me. <laughs> 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 the witch is jammed, don't panic. The don't stand next jammed. to me, the witch is Don't stand next to me. Oh, yeah, the witch, the witch is pretty it. sad this turn. Um, <laughs> it'll move and boost and uh, ram you and try to suck on your toes, but. <laughs> can't do much else. <laughs> Alright, so it is gonna ram me? Yep. Just bash into right. you. It's disgusting maw. That against, will hit me, unfortunately. Against your cockpit. Oh, it also gets to try and recharge, though. Uh, it does not matter. And it clears its jam status. Uh, I want to fucking kill that witch. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> so, moving up to here, that's two movement. Yep. I'm going to barrage against the witch. Uh, taste up with some medicine uh, <laughs> with my heavy and my main. <laughs> uh, That's a miss. No. Apparently, swords don't work tonight. That's a hit. That one does. Yep. Takes a good chunk out of his flesh monstrosity. Do I want to overcharge again? Fuck. <laughs> uh, uh, you're on your third. Uh, Probably not. No. No, I'm, I'm my second. Oh, I'm having a good time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, statistically speaking, if you think you can kill it with that second hit, which it looks like you can, with a heavy charge blade hit, I'd say go for it. Just hit forehead. Uh, sorry. Just hit. Just hit. 
Just hit. Oh yeah. Uh, so. Astro, yeah, what are you doing? Just hit. <laughs> I'm looking for the overcharge button. Uh, basics first button. It's a yeah. big red button okay, in your cartridge. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll preheat. Uh, what? No, it's fine because I have no clear yep, bullshit I know. thing. Uh, and then heavy mount. No, it's a miss. Ah, oh. Your charge plate sinks into the ground harmlessly. The charge right. plate. Anyone got a reaction uh, for that? <laughs> nice. Enter. Leaving dialect and opera. Um. Run dialect. Yep. <laughs> Well, it looks like I'm not reloading because I've got to stand up from prone. And just boost it twice now. Well, uh, we've still got next turn, so I won't. Because we're on round five, yes? Yes, yeah. we're on round five. Yes. Yeah, I'll just stand up from prone, boost over here, And then I guess we'll unleash the light nexuses on the witch. And right. just, you know, be real hopeful. Uh, that's a hit. Doubt it. Because it's a biological it witch. Right. Yes. Three kinetic. And then the second one. Or one. It's got one HP, doesn't it? No, it's got two. <laughs> oh. Well, I needed max, but... Get a bit of hurting to it, and yeah. that's me. And Opera. Um, drone Commander 1, or Templates Drone Run, Disrespects Protocol Annihilation Nexus on the Flush Giant. Do they get hardcover from me on this? Because yes. it's, for what it's seeking, Temple. isn't it? Might be seeking. Is? Let me just click it. Yeah, just click it. Fine. Let's find out. Nope. It's just smart. Just it's not smart. Ah, dang it. So it does get too difficult. Uh, it it doesn't because you're both adjacent to the same piece of cover. Oh, is that how it works? Yep, that's how it works. All right. That's how it works here anyway. Right. So just your nanites are just <laughs> nano machines, oh. son. But uh, Jack the Moon. <laughs> yeah. So nothing. No. No dice. We're gonna go ahead. One, two, three, four, five with basic movement. And then boost for another five. Absolutely not, unless you overcharge. What do you mean? Oh, was that your I, protocol? That was, that was a protocol, Perfect. my good man. I, I have two turns a turn, you forget. Don't worry about it then. <laughs> Hydras. <laughs> Hydras, man. How do they work? They're absolutely hilarious. And then with my remaining quick action... Man, I'm just gonna want to have to run over here. Get away from me, flush giant. That's oh. my turn. Hothead. Oh. Oh my. Yeah, Hothead's gonna make hot a nightmare. It. It's gonna make him go for... Wait, we're run? entering the I last mean... round, and we are getting as much juice out of that witch as possible. Alright, <laughs> Astroth, you wanna just... Yes! ...that witch for all it's got? Don't we get oh. the first turn? Uh, Do no, enemies we ended go on first, a, We though? ended on a PC turn, so NPCs go first. Yep, yep. Yeah. So let's see how the witch Dang goes. It. Uh, dialect, you did not reload your gun, correct? Correct. <laughs> nope. Super heavy anyway, doesn't matter. Yeah, can't can't cyclone a friend. Um, there's a phone a friend bit joke in there somewhere, but you know. How are we doing this? How much HP are you at, Hothead? Thirteen. Unraveler can't can't even try to do that. <laughs> Use Oh, what we'll do? We will uh, ram you. First of all, Astroth. Yes. Shoving you next to Hothead before we use Quick Tech, Predator, Lord Tech. 11 does it. Scorpion does nothing. And please use your heavy charge blade to hit uh, Hothead. Real good. Thank you. Oh, Reroll no, re the it. re roll the damage, please. <laughs> No. Oh dear. Wait, you rolled damage? Uh, yep, that's yeah. that's a six. Yep, one six. <laughs> yeah, eight that's... damage. Oh wait, Good. no, more. More. Yeah, that's eight. Eight damage. Eight damage. <laughs> yeah. Armor piercing two. 
and the witch will try to hug you dialect. Cool. Uh, I'm not happy about that. I'm gonna unravel that witch. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and get dialect on the gates. Yeah. Please uh, and thank you. Black mount, unravel. Uh, Does it matter? It doesn't matter. It's reliable too. Uh. Super doesn't matter, but uh, you turn the witch to dust with your unraveler. You just wave a hand and it falls apart. I like this wave a hand fall apart thing. Let's do more of that. Boost here. You're prone. Oh wait, yeah, prone because of the ram. Correct. So you can just boost. I can boost again? No. No, you can just boost. You were prone because of the ram. Oh, like, right. Uh, it takes space movement to get up, yeah. Oh, okay, then I can just boost. Or, okay, that's fair. Uh... Thankfully, dialogue is in range. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <There>. thankfully. <laughs> just move there. Fine. The slow moving defensive control team. It's a gauntlet! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. The flash time. Okay. How dare you avoid my turn? <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, Hothead, don't take your turn ever. You're oh, in the wandering nightmare. And you can't oh take God. three actions as a result. Six damage. Oh no! From the flesh giant. Hopefully it's not like a pirate flesh oh, giant. Oh, did that actually structure him at the last yep. second? <laughs> One for the way. Oh. <laughs> Alright, um, let's... In basics, I think. Yes, in basics. Most things are in basics these days. Uh, no other turns exist, so it's just me, high head, and dialect. Correct. Uh, you want them all to shuffle over. Play your fools. Wait, this is three. That's a weapon. So I'll break the warper gun that's not caustic. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Uh, also, the Flash Giant didn't take energy damage, so it will regenerate to full HP. Rude. I mean... My just poor look at it. Repair. <laughs> <laughs> just look at it. It's a very rude Flesh Giant. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll take my turn and... Go for it. Give me a system save, please. I will... <laughs> that's, all I have good that's, what I, that's what I meant. <laughs> Why don't you let Dialect just take his turn? I mean, it's, we, we all know what Dialect's doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, 13? Yeah, beats you 11, right? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Alright, I will skirmish the Flesh Giant, use the skirmisher to move two steps Let's shoot it. Uh, that's a hit for no damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That's a hit for one damage. <laughs> yep, and I am going to... Um... Wait, I don't think I'll ever reach, right? Is this the last round? Yes. Or not? Yeah. Yes. Okay, then there's no point in trying to like get there. I will... Let's say... I'll set up the shield again. Let's do that. Is it blocked from things inside? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Super doesn't matter. It just looks nice. Just Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> And All right. Winter. In that case, Opera, you want to maul the flesh giant before I leave? Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can do it, Opera. Uh, I don't think I can either. Or <laughs> hit it anyways. From the Tempest Drones angle, Annihilation Nexus. Uh, this is, angle. but this is now your full action because last turn you didn't use the Annihilation Nexus. Next, correct? Exactly. Yes. Perfect. Yep, you got it. Um, that is. On a hit, it's seven damage. Yeah, I mean, it's, I believe like it has it has one difficulty because of the um, 
the shield. Oh yeah, it does. Doing That's it funny. The tempest drone's angle. <laughs> yep. Easy. Yeah, I hit sandwich. Yep. Seven okay. damage. Oh no, it's armor piercing. Eight damage. Yep. And it's uh energy, so this flash shine will not regenerate. It doesn't that it matters. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna shuffle over here. And then, uh, yeah, and then Dialect can just go ahead. <laughs> dialect for the touchdown. You have Odd. breached the HMO black side. And before you go in and free the prisoners, uh, you will have time to repair your max. Such as it is needed. Just copy your max. Mm. Wait, did we almost like fail that just because? <laughs> like, <Almost>. yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't don't think well. about too much. <laughs> Does anybody right. need a reminder how repairing works? Please. Okay. Now, uh, one second. You can clear all heat. You can clear all statuses affecting your mech. You can restore half pilot HP. Doesn't matter. Uh, one repair restores yourself to full HP, or repairs a destroyed weapon or system. Uh, two repairs repairs one stress. Uh, one repair, if you're in Everest, repairs one structure. And that's about it. And I cannot reload? <laughs> you can. Yeah. <laughs> Rules okay. written, you can't, but it's ridiculous. Fair mm. enough. Yeah. I will reload. Alright, does anyone need repairs? Oh, we can't share that. Oh, no. I just need one stress. <laughs> I used my three repairs to get one structure back and heal my back self to full. I mean, if you need a, if you need some spare repairs, I'm at full right now. I just took tech attacks and blocked most of them. Oh wait, unless we're home rolling that. Normally, it's just you only can share repairs. On oh the right, that's the Lancaster who can yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. share repairs. My bad. <laughs> No worries. Yeah, no worries. Uh, okay, I'll spend three repairs to get myself back to full HP and uh, one structure, right? or not structure, sorry, uh, yeah, stress, stress, right? Yeah. I think mm -hmm. stress requires two repairs still yep. for Everest. Stress is two repairs. Yeah, there's a core bonus that brings it down to one. I think it's Harrison Armory. Ah, Harrison Armory. Two repairs and who and is HP also two repairs? No, it's one. Okay, then uh, I will do that. Oh, and I guess I can use one repair to heal one HP, right? The... <laughs> uh, you can't. Is it, it worth it? Question mark. Why not? All right. Um, let's take a five-minute break. So. At 50, All we'll right. be back with the second and last scene. Now that you've breached the, the prison camp, and uh, yeah, exciting. Okay. Sounds good. Can I go grab a drink? All right, Twitch chat, how are we doing? Why is it that the thing zooms weirdly now? You know, I'm gone for two weeks and everything breaks. How infinitely annoying. Uh, we'll have to look into that one. I really don't know why. Seems to be a new... A new Rule 20 feature, I guess. But it's not that way on the... So this is in... The camera is in, in Chrome. I have it on over two browsers. Um, it's weird. Very weird. We'll look into it. We'll figure it out. No worries. Probably an easy fix, somehow. <clears throat> also, I'm a little under, without a, under the weather today. Um... But we'll we'll pull through. It's also why there's no funny NPC voices, because eh. I hope it'll be better like tomorrow or the day after. Just drinking a lot of tea.
Uh, but yeah, I like the like the NPCs. This actually no, it's just a roll twenty feature that the map now goes over the freaking shadow. Oh, come on, roll twenty. I hate it. God. But we'll still be able to fix it. Just don't worry about it. Might have to set up a dedicated window for <laughs> for the chat, but that's fine. That's fine. Actually, we can try that. No, we can't. I'll, I'll fix it to tomorrow. Probably. All right, we have the milk. Ah, delicious milk. Super excited for the second phase of the mission. Let's get back to it. Yes. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hello. Is everybody ready for oh, scene more. two? There's more. <laughs> always more yep i believe we've got everyone all right let's get to it so for scene two we have now breached the inside of this hmo black side and you are tasked to take over these Basically, prison complexes, the dark gray uh, tiles are the control zones. Mm -hmm. This is a control mission. All right. Uh, you can place yourself top two rows of the top. Now, uh, we'll be playing six rounds. Uh, if there's only uh, PCs, well, <laughs> if there's only characters from one side in a zone, uh, you get a point uh, that is worded as PCs. And NPC and uh, sorry, that is worded PCs for the players and uh, characters for the NPCs. So Opera, I'm sorry, your drones can't hold a zone. Unfortunate. <laughs> Sadness. Uh, they can also not contest a zone, I'm afraid. Yeah. So here we have the round tracker uh, that's going to tick up the points above it. Uh, six rounds for every zone you control at the end of a round you get one point if you for some reason control all four zones after a round you get five points instead of four and at the end of the sixth round whichever side has more points wins opposing you mm -hmm. the control points are the dark gray or the yes, light gray? The dark gray oh okay that makes sense that's where the, the prisoners are being held uh, opposing you are some familiar faces, uh, two assaults and one mirage, but also stomping into view HMO's premier fighting machines. The Hercules Beetle-shaped Elite Berserker. Okay. That I recall unfortunate. <laughs> okay. Oh, so more things that he did so not nice. So are the, is it the, the poison on the top two rows or like? Top two rows, yep. Okay, so 
I was on one of these kinds of mission archetypes before, it's really easy to lose them. Basically, the idea that was only optimal is that we go into pairs. I don't know if we're in currently efficient pairing as we are right now, because I don't know. Like, do you guys think that Opera Astroth and Hothead Dialect are ideal pairs? Because essentially, the idea is me and Astroth are going to have to manage these two control zones, ideally. And then Hothead and Dialect are going to have to manage these two control zones. We can swap up the pairs on who's in the pairs, yeah. but it's basically going to be pairs of people managing um, the opposite ends of this, this map. So, like, what do you guys think? I think it might be better if... Hotheads with me because I might hit him if there's any witches coming up. Yeah. Uh, so, so maybe maybe Astroth and I switch. Okay. That makes sense? Yeah, yeah it sounds good. That'll essentially oh, balance wait, the damage uh, output as well, I, I think. Wait, I'm moving things. Yeah. Uh, in the right zone. I think we might as well just stay here. We'll Fair fine. enough. Um, yeah, I think because that, that also balances the damage output because I'm a heavy damage output and Astroth is a heavy damage output. And, then, yeah. and I've got occasional heavy damage. <laughs> yeah, and then Hothead has burn and you have burn. So it, it's a pretty balanced output, I think, yeah. having it like this. Um, yeah. Plus, Astroth and I can pop our cores without any worry. Actually, yeah. now I think about it, we may want to group up here at the middle because I can give everyone four overshield at the start, and then we can split off. Makes sense. Cool. So yep. might as well just congeal here, and then... Here. Actually, then if you swap with me, then that'll put a line three between me and Hothead. Oh. No, so no you can still go... There, there's, there's, there's geometry in this. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry a little head about it. Um, yeah, I, like I'll, I, because I basically I can't make a line to myself, but if, if it passes through me, it works. That's how it works. Fair enough. Yeah. So, okay. is uh, everyone okay with me taking turn one? Yeah. Works for so me. First things first. We're gonna go ahead and immediately. Where's the flame creatures? Here we are. Full deployment. Hello. All of the erosion guys are coming out. Hooray! Bringing out the conga lion. Hello, friends. Ooh, the shredder will be real nice on those berserkers. Exactly. And then here's the hunter. I mean the the yeah. snare as well, yeah. but yeah, just everything's gonna be nice. And then now I'll go ahead and do my drone commander free action. Just getting everything over shield for. Well, I forgot to remove mine, so we're good. <laughs> yeah, you forgot to. Yeah, so everyone go ahead and add over shield for. Also, and please that. note that I just, with my infinite foresight, gave all the Orochi drones 15 HP. <laughs> I, I noticed that, because if you're taking Hydra and yeah, you're Orochi exactly. or not 15 HP, you're an absolute genius or something. Uh, just to put or it nice. something. <laughs> Uh, and then with my basic movement for all my Rochis, we'll be moving the entire goon gang five spaces. And I'll just figure that out. One, two, three, four, five. There. This is generally what I'm thinking. <laughs> just throw them in the general direction. <laughs> just, just, that's, that's what happened, okay? Them the breaks. Take it or leave it. I am my turn. <laughs> All right, the berserker. Which? Oh, there's only one. No, there's two. There's two. There's one on each yeah. side. Yeah. With two actions, even. Yep. We'll just move to here. Intriguing. Move boost, stomping through the mushrooms without a care in the world, and it will yen then use its avalanche charge. Wait, what are you doing to my babies? Oops. Five spaces in a straight line. Right through here. Uh, so the snare will grab Ignoring it, yeah. reactions. Okay, gotcha. Ignoring reactions. Wonderful. Are you going to try to... So you're basically coin flipping between me and the Guardian. Correct. Which, All right. which would you like to be? I'd like to be one, and I'd like the Guardian to be two. Perfect. 
Well, the guardian needs it. All right. With a chain axe. Does that have accuracy? It does not. Uh, that was this one. Seven. All right. That do hit my evasion, so it do hit the guardian. And that is the berserker's first turn. Wants to go? Or, like, does anyone have I think a I think I'm more effective if I go in the later yeah. parts of the round. So feel free. Right. Yeah, I think I'll go and set up to some extent. Um, actually, uh, yeah, let's go. I am gonna move and boost to the yeah. other point. Yeah. And. With my quick action, I'm gonna set up Scylla. Ooh. Let's rock. Scylla macro, by the way, the most <laughs> complicated macro in the world. Oh my goodness. That thing, that thing was such a bitch to make, holy shit. <laughs> but it, this wouldn't be as complicated as the prototype weapon thing that you made, because that had 20 oh, no. to 30 yeah. options. And I can't even use it, sadly. I just want to call out here I'll that I didn't. It, yeah, I'll show it off after the stream. One HP for a great <laughs> after, after the game, I'll show it off on stream. It's really funny. All right, skill is activated. Yeah. Oh, I just want to call out that I heal the one HP for a repair <gasps> point because I realized I could use yep. that for a status. Right? Okay. And that's the end of my turn. Right. <clears throat> uh, let's do this here, Berserker. It's going to move. It's going to avalanche charge into you. Uh, it will try and hit you with a chain axe. 11 for seven kinetic. Yep, I lose my overshield and take damage. And yeah, and I don't think I can do anything because Scylla is specifically not myself. A hostile character makes an attack against you or an allied character within range of you. Definitely oh, is you. I can. Yep. Okay, then I will skirmish her. I will just skirmish and uh, move away to break engagement and shoot him. Alright. Does he have armor? Uh, he does not. <laughs> he has resistance though. All right. All right, and that is my turn. Oh, actually, I, wait a minute. Okay, I I have two reactions, and it's I can can I use both Scylla reactions on the same instance of damage, or do I have to wait for another one? Uh, until this of your next turn, you get two special reactions. That allow you to well, also, a character makes an attack against you. Uh, two reactions. Yeah, no, go for it. Definitely. All right, and many, I forgot to do this. <laughs> <laughs> and I am gonna call the gunslinger three on turn. Hopefully, mm -hmm. it hits. That's a hit. Right. Takes one from. So it's nice. nine damage, it takes five. Because I'm replacing nothing, no resistance. Yes. And I have one dark. And that's also hit for one damage. And right. uh, you enraged the Berserker a great deal. Oh no, what does let's, that mean? Let's see what happens when it takes another turn. Uh, it then has one quick left, but you moved away like a coward. <laughs> so... Uh, it's going to lock onto you. Oh dear. And that is its first turn. I would like to go, if you don't Go mind. for it. Right. Yeah, like this, I'm going to be right now, going later. Alright, I'm moving. I put oh, you activate power your core. First. Yes. yes. I'm activating my core. Sorry. 
I I meant to yep. went back up. Yeah. All right. You can Would give yourself a little star. Then? Yes. Uh, move reaction boost over to here. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna lock on, lock on and unraveler the berserker. Okay. You might want to, um, or... instead of locking on, invade it. If okay. I remember correctly, yeah. Berserkers lose lose resistance if they're impaired or slowed or something. That is correct. Oh, okay, then that makes sense. Uh, in that case, invade. That does it. Takes two heat, and comes slowed and... and impaired. And then Unraveler. Yep. And this will now deal full damage. Oh, but only four. So it only takes two. two. <laughs> Dang it. One off, by the way. Had five HP left. Oh. Yep. Nice. <laughs> super, super unfortunate. Enter. Okay. Um, the Berserker will go again. Uh, it Which will see one? if the one that has the big red eight blinking above his head. <laughs> yes. We'll try to regain Avalanche Charge, which recharges on a five up. Come on! Yeah! There we go. Uh, it will use Avalanche Charge once more. Uh, will it go to... Hmm. It's gonna go to here. Uh, it's gonna hit you with the Chain Axe. Astroth. It is impaired. Uh, yeah, it is so. impaired, definitely. So that's a zero. Uh, yeah. Doesn't that stun it, Hothead? Uh, it oh, wait, it's... rolled a one on the d20. You rolled a one. No, it, it didn't attack me, it attacked Astro, right? Oh. Yeah, but it's an adjacent, isn't it? It's not or... adjacent. No, oh, it's not. That's a different thing, yeah. yeah. Dang it. Yeah. Well, I could hope. <laughs> <sighs> that and attack would have. That, that attack, by the way, would have dealt 15 damage to you, Astaroth. <laughs> Before it takes its skirmish with the chain axe and misses you again, and it will then try to ram you. This berserker is going hog wild in your face. It's a free ram. Oh no, sorry, no, it was a quick action avalanche charge. Never mind the ram. Oh yeet. <laughs> Second turn. Wait, so and... do I get rammed or no? No, you don't. No, no ram. Okay, good. And it's slow and impaired is Gonzo. And that's the turn. Second turn. Uh, Alright. Uh, that's me then. Yeah. I'm also going to pop core. Perfect. You can give yourself is a little star symbol. Uh, it's a frame features. Aha. Mm -hmm. Alright. And... Definitely not like... So move and free boost. Do 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 do. Okay. Did you have to use a quick action boost to do that, or was no. it just a basic move? No, okay. that was uh, three to three up to here, boost up uh, to here, bit, finish out my basic move with four. Okay. You know what would be stonks? Hmm. Initiative invading and then cycle and pulse rifling. That, that was over. actually my plan. Yeah. So we have the same, same page. page. Yeah. And go. on that note, let's uh, let's start that out. Initiative invade. That gets an accuracy. Yes, it does. Oh, fantastic! And I really wish that roll had been on the cyclone pulse, but <laughs> you know, we'll we'll work it out. So. And then, yes, indeed, Cyclone Pulse Rifle. With two accuracy, even. And that's 16 it. 16 hit. Bless. For All right, damage. That's, and that's uh, six, six kinetic, seven burn. Correct. The acid shells explode all the way around the Berserker. Uh, it will have to do a structure check from that one. Woo! 
Rolls a d6. Rolls a 3. Rolls a d6. Rolls a 1. It's chain axis destroyed. Yes! Very bad. <laughs> Sad berserker. And that would be my turn. Yep. Uh, it gets a free attack because you damage it, but it doesn't have an attack anymore. <laughs> it doesn't uh, have rights anymore. It does, however, tick up its uh, red for two. So that's good. What's that mean? It gets uh, two more damage on its next chain axe attack. Oh. <laughs> Uh, actually, actually, factually wrong. As the elite berserker, really? yep, brings both its arms above your head for a full action improvised attack. Opera. <laughs> I'm dealing sorry. dealing five damage to you. <laughs> That's all Wait, four. Uh, isn't the, the temp isn't the the this guy here? No, oh, he's that's in not an avalanche charge. He isn't. Oh, I rolled with more difficulty. Yeah, okay, rolled a level. Cool. Mm. No, but like I meant more like, does he pick which one he attacks? Or uh, he well, on this, he yeah, would, he, yes. he, he does. Yeah, he does. This is his actual turn. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, flops the engineering though and burns down a bunch. Or seven. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, tries to regain the avalanche charge just because manages perfect uh, and is no longer slowed. Seven burn going on. Good one. And that is its second turn. Alright, we're oh. out of turns. Yeah, perfect. it's the next round now. But we do have. Wait, is that elite on the point or not? No. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> okay, so let's see what the other ones do because that's it's the other enemies are going now. Um, this guy is going to lock onto you, Astaroth, consume the lock on, and shoot you at neutral. It has to shoot through these weird mushrooms, so it's one difficulty soft cover. Uh, consumes okay. the lock on neutral. For two revival. Okay. That um, hits the overshield. Yep. So on this side, you do the same against you, Dialect. Same idea. Yep. 11 for 6. That will ch chunk my overshield and do two damage. I feel that we need to fix a bunch of positioning right now. <laughs> so, good thing we brought a Mirage. <laughs> yeah, Mirage is cheat in this kind of situation. <laughs> uh, right, so glitch scanners, first of all. And uh, let me tell you, up to two Elliot carries within sensors moving in five space in that direction. So let's fix uh, the thing we bungled up up here by teleporting this guy over here, this guy over there. That's one quick. And we shall then um, put warp sensors on U dialect. It's an accuracy All right. because it's inbuilt. Seven doesn't do it though. We'll miss. <clears throat> And that is the Mirage's turn. As we're going into enemy gets two points. Round two. Enemy in How many gets rounds six. six. Oh. Okay. Mm. Alright, well, once again, I excel at going later, so. I can shoot the Mirage with my Unraveler and Bray, <laughs> or not. At the very least, he'll do two, but... Just roll a 10, easy. 2d6. What are we talking about? <laughs> or I can try to get closer to the Assault on the bottom point. Um, the idea yeah, is one of you two over there on the left. But one of you is gonna have to want to eat over there, so I, that'll be either Astroth or Hothead. I'll do so, it. Yeah. Just get in uh, on that. So. Four. Uh, okay. Uh, move it, reaction boost, to over to here. Go say hello. <laughs> and I'm gonna barrage the assault with my. Uh, Heavy and my prototype. Absolutely. Yep. That I haven't used. 
Uh, that is six damage cutting through the armor entirely. And then one exploding sword prototype. <laughs> That's a miss. And I think that'll end my turn. Alright. Uh, the Assault, you just actually know. The Berserker in front of your hothead will try to recharge Avalanche Charge. Doesn't manage. Yeah. So it will mm -hmm. consume the lock-on with its Chain Axe. For one accuracy. That was in the two. Yeah, you're stunned. Oh. Yeah. Alright. This time it did work. Oh, okay. I feel horrible. I'll just be stunned then here. I'll, I'll just use my other berserker that doesn't have a chain axe anymore. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I don't know what happened with the dice. You, you guys realize that the dice have been like super one sided in this game. They have, yeah. objectively. Except for Astaroth's melee attacks. Except for my melee attacks. <laughs> so, it happens. I've I've put the people in the dirt on dice too, so just just yeah. have to go sometimes. Mm -hmm. Well, then again, last game, <laughs> which was my first game, uh, Astaroth was rolling really, really well on those rebounds, so it's karma. Mm -hmm. All right, how far can I push someone, basically? <laughs> One space. Ooh, Unless you overcharge to do it again, then two spaces. Or have the talent. <laughs> uh... Remember that hacking removes resistance, though, and he's... Or actually, stunned probably removes the resistance, too. Probably um, does. Let's try it again. You know... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Or don't you automatically fail off whole saves when you're stunned? Yes, you do. So if you really wanted to, Hothead, I think... Well, actually, wait, I don't know how this works, because you're both the same size, but if you wanted to, you could grapple him. And just set him outside. And literally um, just... That won't work. But because, I don't know how that worked with you. Yeah, though, it doesn't, so. because um, you're both the same size, so you have to check at the start of your next turn who's bigger, who's considered bigger. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that yeah, was exactly. the discrepancy. So, yeah, but hey, if stun out. removes the resistance, he's got evasion and e-defense 5 right now. Uh, just, just evasion 5. E-defense. Just effective. evasion? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. Berserker's base have E-Defense 6, so don't worry about it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh... Or you can just try to kill it. I, I, or... Yeah, that, that makes sense. I think I'll just try and kill it. Um, I will skirmish. I'll take my turn. I yep. will skirmish, move back. Oh, actually, does it... I, it can't engage with me because it's stunned, right? It can engage with you because, it's, yeah, it doesn't matter. It still engages you. Oh, okay. okay. You can't, obviously. Oh, okay, then I'll just move back yep. and shoot it. Uh, that's a hit for two damage. Uh, that's a crit. It's structures. Roll the d6. Roll the d6. It's Shan X is destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you would have asked to get stunned again rather than get Chain X destroyed at this point. <laughs> Your drones rip apart the massive drills on the Berserker's arms. And I'm gonna overcharge to shoot again. Uh, yep. Oh. This currently at uh, four point. anger points, though. <laughs> Actually, the anger points don't matter. They go away at the end of its next turn. So. No, uh oh, for heat. Oof, that was close, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> and let's shoot again. Mm -hmm. All right, on this hit, I have finally recharged my die all the way again. Mm -hmm. So the next, so the next one, one is gunslinger. Super gunslinger. <laughs> yeah, the next one is gunslinger. Let's Perfect. shoot. That should do it. Yep. A 
I need another slinger with Nexus is just real nice. I need another six damage to do it. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that is a junk to Berserker. Completely tear the Berserker apart. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, all of these people are eugenics fascists. <laughs> yep, yep. That they are. <laughs> um, hmm. Awkward. Um... Okay, let's do this one. Mirage will teleport to here. Mirage will try to warp sensor you. Alt head consuming lock on. Uh, warp sensors, I believe, has one accuracy in build. Yep, so at two accuracy, warp sensors. 12 doesn't do it. Uh, 12 does. 12 is my E defense. Ah, perfect. Did you change that? Wasn't it Wait. 14 the last time we met? No, that's my save target. Ah, oh, gotcha. So you take uh, two heat, you stress, blah blah. Everything mm -hmm. is everything is now soft cover for you. Yes. And then it teleports in the zone. Um. Oh, damage is that? Okay, that's the button for this. Yeah. Yes, damage result. Exposed. Oh no. If only there was a 15, 15 damage Berserker left. <laughs> and that is the Mirage's turn. Alright, what are we thinking on this side of the map? Um, I mean... I could probably just give... Berserker a bad day on its engineering save, and then I can definitely control this spot, this area, while also sending drones over to your area. Sure. So why don't, why don't you go and populate the area before I go in on the assault? So you and... so you know where to not get tempest droned. Exactly. I understand. Okay. Plus, if you can kill the Berserker this turn, then, you know, joy. Um, or if, or just hope on the engineering, it blows up. That's kind of the strat. But, okay, that works too. Yeah. Um, turret Commander 1 on the start of my turn as a protocol. One. Turret Commander? <laughs> I don't know why I say Turret Commander. <laughs> it's just a brain thing. Yeah, don't worry about it. When you play... 40 chess basic words into your skull. <laughs> you entirely forgot about your legacy turret as well. It's so sad. Look at it. I, I, I actually was planning to plant it down this turn. Because, oh, perfect. We do yeah. love the legacy turret. Yes. And so with my basic movement, we're going to shuffle over to one, two, four. I have the uh, Can't reply. It doesn't have arms anymore. <laughs> um, thonk. Because oh. I could, I could well, just annihilation nexus. But no, nah, we're gonna plant drones. We're gonna make drones happen. We're getting value out. Let's do it. Thonks. No more annihilation nexus. It did enough. I mean, if you plant out the uh, the legacy drone. Like, even if the Berserker doesn't die to the Engineering, then I can toss Anex its, its way to just have the Legacy Drone pink it. And that's basically going to be the idea. Um, so first things first, quick action, we're planting the Legacy Drone. Where do I find that lad? There it is. There yeah. it is. I... There's two lads. Oh, there we go. Where am I putting lads. it? I mean, oh, in the lazy... center is probably the best. How lazy was I about riding it? Um, it was once permission, 
and it was like a turn normal turret drone. Oh, so okay. And it does Perfect. six damage instead of everything else. So it just works so like a sensors turret and drone. yeah, just sensors. It's fine. Um, I'll just put it right there and that's off cover. I think then where it is. All and right. It's Fifteen HP. Interpoint station drops one of its old drones from the skies. Very into that much of a and then with my drone's basic movements dialect, where do you want to move into when you get over there? But that's I mean, I'm probably gonna be on this side just because the assault's controlling this area. Would you want to get over? Wait a second. No. Funk. You know, actually, would you want to be getting over to this side? Like these three spaces? I could do that. Okay, fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and put Tempest Drone down. Right over here. Hello. Prepare to be cyberbullied by electricity, making you into a pinball. And then, with the basic movements, four. Five, the Guardian is making its way over to where Dialect is planning to be. The Shredder and the Snare are just gonna start surrounding this damn thing. <laughs> because why not? And mm -hmm. That'll be my turn because I use both actions and I don't feel like overcharging. Alright. Um, that top Berserker there Tell me about how many reactions I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> just you can, we could just just uh just make a what what save is it? Uh, uh make it make me um does it? Let's just make you do an agility save. How about that? That is from the. Can you put in chat? The Orochi snare. Yes. Right. Let's go ahead and make an agility save. One agility save. Easy. You succeed. You are not immobilized. Have a good day. Uh, the Berserker will try to improvise attack with its stumps, you dialect. That stumps. makes sense. Stumps come down. I've eight. got nine evasion as well. <laughs> Wait, you've distributed them between nine evasion? Uh, <laughs> and it's been so <laughs> worth it, too. It's been agility. so worth it, too. You hate to see it. As the stumps, right? I never expected that. Stumps, stumps. clang in the ground as oh it makes an engineering God. save and puts its fire out. Uh, Dang it. Oh well. Sadness. Okay. <laughs> I will just put one point in agility and one point in systems. <laughs> Look at me, I'm Funny dialect! <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Alright, we are going to move and boost yep. for the freebie. And... Does the turret drone trigger on tech attacks too? Yes. Any attack that hits the damn thing works. Cool, so we'll start with an invade on the berserker. Sorry. Yeah. Testing. Yeah. Hello. Hello. 18 hit at sea defense? Definitely. All right. <laughs> Feel free to turret drone it. I am, in fact, going to turret drone it. It's just that this does six instead of three. And the Starker does not have resistance. Nope. The legacy Dang. drone swings around, and both barrels open up into the berserker, and it just dies. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. we can. We could always hear you. <laughs> could you hear us? Oh, okay, I, I couldn't hear you guys. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, and. Huh. Okay, I've got one quick action left, so. I think I'm just going to be making that a full tech and drop a fragment signal on the Tempest as well. Or Wait, on the Assault. On the Assault, rather. The tempest is fine. You wanted to fail the Tempest. 
Because I want the Tempest. The Tempest is friend. Tempest. Or actually, you know what? Um, you do fun things with lock-on and drones, don't you? I Why like lock-on. Lock on. No, no lock on. I'm gonna lock on the other oh, okay. next turn. Fair enough. We'll invade instead. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this game of fragments so has difficulty on the save. Yep. Impaired, Perfect. slowed. All that good stuff. And to heat, easy. And to heat. So let's do that. Assault. Also, uh, unless you're still want to overcharge. That is my turn. Perfect. So let's go with that assault straight away. Um, mm -hmm. We will do a hull save in one difficulty. Correct. Oof. Feel free to get yeeted three spaces and take two heat and take four energy damage. There's a lot of things. We shall then <laughs> go back into the room. <laughs> Fair enough. Have a nice... Um, mm -hmm. Throw a lock on onto your dialect before we're busting out the heavy assault rifle at neutral. Yep. Six damage. That will definitely hit me. And is, I lost my strong. overshield a while ago, so... I believe that just leaves the bottom left assault? Yeah, yeah no Mirage, I think. No, Mirage, no, Mirage, Mirage jumped in this turn. Bottom left yeah. assault will lock onto you, Astroth, and then Sparta kick you out the zone. At With one. a ram. Accuracy, yep. 21. Oof. You get to be on your back outside the zone while the assault laughs. That's uh, one and one, I believe. Yep. Players get a turn. Uh, players get a turn. Players get a point, and NPCs get a point. Uh, we're going to round three. Uh, I can lock onto everyone on the map. Oh, yeah! Uh, can I take the first turn real quick. I'd just like to stabilize before I get structured. That's, That's valid. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna quickly... Uh, I'm just gonna quickly stabilize, heal up, and reload. Basic stabilize, and it's one of the more fun macros. Yep. And... My Cyclone Pulse Rifle is now reloaded, and that is my turn. Perfect. We're moving next for you. In that case... No, we don't want to go on there. <laughs> Gotta move and boost Wait, no all the way around. Wait, no reinforcements yet? <laughs> all the way around. Oh, there's no reinforcements, sorry. <laughs> you just it. It over, ripped two elite berserkers in half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I could have overcharged him. Move and boost to there, um, and that's then also going to try and support a kick you out the zone. Go for it. Nope. Oh. <laughs> that will Absolutely. not hit. Absolutely not. Then go ahead, Astro. Yep. Uh, yeah, I will uh, protocol lock onto everyone on the field. The Copernicus drone flies out. It has many lenses on its spherical body, and it locks onto every enemy. That's a good thing. We like that. Yeah. Uh, move action to get up. Yep. Uh, uh, you can also crawl on the floor if you don't want to. Uh, it's at half speed. I you don't, don't get you don't get difficulty from being on the ground. Just people get accuracy against you. Yeah, I don't I don't want that either. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, free action boost anyways. I can free action boost to the middle yep. of the point, and uh, I want to get rid of that prone. Uh, I want to. Uh, well, actually, not the middle point here. Ram and uh, invade. Uh, sure. <laughs> if it can't get up from prone, 
or, and then move because it's slowed. Can crawl though. Went prone. Can crawl back in the Oh, true, true. Crawl and ram yeah. aggressively. <laughs> in that case, I will barrage. Yep. With a uh, heavy mount and prototype. One heavy charge blade for five damage. And one explodey sword. That's a miss. <laughs> you want to use the legacy turret to just take it out? <laughs> I, I have yet. not gotten my reaction back. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, Didn't we get the uh, reactions it's recharge out of range at, anyway? Reactions recharge at start of player's turn. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I ended turn anyway, so. Yep. Uh, Hothead, you're exposed, right? Yes, I am. That's fun. Uh, assault will lock oh. onto you. Assault will shoot you with a gun. At neutral. It is engaged, though. Yep, so. at neutral. Yes. Seven. That misses, I think. <sighs> Take four. Unfortunate. <laughs> Take four. <laughs> that leaves Hothead and Opera. Oh, right, you have anything. Or you just want to set that? I mean... We're just gonna <laughs> start killing things. Just... I just, I just thought of something very silly. Dialect, are you okay with being collateral damage? As long as it doesn't punt me out of the zone, I'm at full HP. <laughs> okay. So what's gonna happen? Is um, my e defense gonna... is probably better than the assaults. Question yeah, mark? By one Question point. Mark. <laughs> so first thing first, protocol, drone commander. Is it in sensors? Yes. Drone commander one, move the Tempest drone here. Yep. Hello. And then we're just going to shuffle the other Orochis over because they don't have anything better to do. And then we're gonna put the guardian next to you, dialect. And this is. I mean, it'll at least give a difficulty to the burst uh, hitting me. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly the idea. And then the shredder moves that difficulty over to here, because I think that like makes that ha happen. And then we're gonna go ahead and full action annihilation nexus, consuming the lock on on the assault. With all of the horrible that that implies. <laughs> Yes, and uh, exactly what happens now is that Drone Commander 2 procs because the lock-on was consumed, yep. dealing an additional 5 or reduced to 4 energy damage, no fast on the assault. Yep. And then the actual attack roll is 9 energy damage. Mm -hmm. and Ooh, max. 12 went against the assault E defense. Uh, we'll try to hunker down. Uh, takes five damage. Yep. Uh, ten total. Let's see if I hit uh, dialect at one difficulty because Correct. of my yep. guardian next to it. Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. You still get hit for nine AP damage, lad. <laughs> well, that was a nice stabilizer. That was a good stabilizer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You're a ten, aren't you? <laughs> what? The sacrifice I'm willing to make. No, I'm kidding. You have four structure. <laughs> You're fine. That's, yep. that's, that's my turn. We have the Mirage left. The Mirage is a bit confused because all its friends are dead. Um, <laughs> and it can't get this weird Eva dragon out of the zone. So we'll just hop up there. Uh, we'll... Full tech, invade, and warp sensors against you, Astra. Uh, invade doesn't do it, and warp sensors comes in with more accuracy. Uh, that does do it. Take two heat, and you treat everything as soft cover. Okay. And that leaves Hothead. Yeah, I am going to shoot my light nexuses at the assault, and. I guess move two spaces with that. Yep. Uh, 
That's the crit. Dead. Crit. And uh, it makes a system save. Does make a system save. And I'll shoot second time, consuming the lock on. System saves, yep. One minute. Oh, it's saved. Yeah, yeah it's at 1 HP though, so don't worry about it. <laughs> yep, it does it. And dead. And I'll use the rest of my movement to go here and grapple the Mirage, consuming the lock on. <laughs> <laughs> Grab it, boys. Grab the invisible mirage. Oh yeah, it's invisible. Give me D2, please. It is? Oh. Always invisible, mirage. Nope. You Dark. hug the air. <laughs> we oh, need the hunter the over there. Or it no longer deletes invisible, does it? I don't think so. Uh, don't Bang. Think so. It just gives lock on. What's... Uh, Either way, three points for up. Uh, yep. Full action, right? Okay. Three yeah, points for players. No points for NPCs. Nice. So you have now overtaken the NPCs as we're going to round four. Uh, on, uh, mind if I take first turn again? I mind if I you take mind. first turn because we ended on a. Oh no, did we? You yes, are we correct. We ended on a player yeah. turn. So you will get your structure friend, all right? Unless all right. this Tempest drone completely annihilates this assault, which would be in line it's with what's been happening so far. One hull save. Yes. Four energy. Uh, is it able to hunker down against that? Let's find out. I don't think so. <laughs> no, it's, it's not an attack. attack. Has Takes four energy, has one armor, takes three, exactly it gets electrocuted. The wreckage yeets past you <laughs> as it tries to stab you in the face. Nice. And that is the assault uh, drone. Who wants to go first again? Mind if I repair in case of... Uh... Mirage bullshit? Fine. Yeah. Uh, the bombardment. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Yeah, I'm just gonna move into the, the center of the zone. Yep. Or, you know, I'll move here. Keep the Guardian, might as well. Or, nah, the Guardian will come with me eventually. And, once again, stabilize. And that will be my turn. Uh, the Mirage will use both its teleport movements to just teleport to the map. <laughs> because it's not staying. <laughs> it's out. I, 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 it's not, I do not it. want this. Fuck this. Fuck all, this. <laughs> Fuck all of this. You have successfully liberated the prisoners slash science experiments of uh, HMO. It's Wonderful. not even Woo. called PM on my, on my clock. Wow. Oh shit, I forgot to activate my core power. And then <laughs> True. <laughs> You actually found a berserker without using basilisk. <laughs> Why? How? What happened? I don't understand. Dice happened. That's what happened. Dice a lot of dice happened. happened today. Yep. <laughs> dice did happen today. And I, for one, am completely fine with it. I don't know. It's absolutely fine. It was fun. Um, yeah. No, we can free the poor souls being experimented on used as guinea pigs. And you did a really good job today. Can. Be proud. Yes. Excellent. I've got an extra compartment, so if we want to salvage anything while we're here, stick it in dialect. <laughs> Smack. Uh. Oh, Speaking. I guess I'm banished now. Banished to tier two. Oh, you yeah, are banished to tier We have to figure out what that means. And I'm a real person. Dialect, this was your first successful mission. Therefore, you were elevated to Rising Civil 1. Yes! Hothead! I'll figure out what license I'm taking. You leave the peasantry behind as you become our first tier 2 Lancer at license number 5. Tier 2? Yep. Wait, who? Uh, uh, Hothead. Oh, Hothead! Yep. Hothead, yes. Yay. Opera, you go to 4. And Astroth, you go to 2. Yay. Everyone gets license levels today. Everybody gets license levels today. Wonderful. 
Just like Oprah said. Hmm. Oh, dialect, are you going to take like one in Hull or like one in engineering? <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to, but apparently it's been working out. Yeah, apparently it's super good. <laughs> Secret strats. Oh my, oh my. Well, I hope all of you had a lot of fun. I served that you. was excellent. Thank you. Thank you. And Welcome I hope to... to see you around. Yeah. Welcome to Interpoint, by the way. Yeah. For dialect. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Did you apply record, this week? Usually... Yep, I jumped in the. I jumped onto the Discord like four hours before applications went live. Figured out <laughs> what was going on and somehow made the ninth spot. How did you that like the... Exactly the? That is exactly the same that happened oh, as what happened to me when I joined. Brilliant. <laughs> how did you like the? Um, how did you guys like the uh, new macro system? By the way, and the. Oh, the macros were new super terrain. nice. New terrain borders. That's all. That's all new stuff. And the terrain was great. Yeah, definitely. It was super easy to tell what was what and plan around it. Yeah. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. In that case, I'll yeah. see you I'm around. glad I took flight systems because <laughs> goo <Yeah>. everywhere. <laughs> Acid pits are pretty neat. All right. I'll see you around. Have a good one. Yep. Bye. Thanks for running. Right, bye everyone. It was fun. All right, Twitch chat. Are you ready to experience the prototype weapon? Because you're not. But I'll show it off. Because it's funny. Um, how to do this? Actually, I need to give the camera a mech. No worries. Stress. Let's give the camera a mech. Oh. All right, are you ready? Because you're not. There we go. Can we control? No, perfect. <laughs> Can we control then edit it by? Nope, never mind. Now it should work. No? Okay, just roll 20 things then. Refresh! Before we show off the Prototype weapon of doom. <laughs> and there we go. All right. <sighs> Here it is, the prototype weapon of doom. Let's roll it. Let's start rolling. So this is a uh, personality test, by the way. Uh, first, we have to determine the type. Um, we're going to go with launcher. Submit. Uh, then threat range. Um, it's a threat one launcher, actually. Uh, then accuracy difficulty for the um, attack roll. So difficulty at, let's say, three. Uh, then it's going to ask us what our engineering talent level is at. Uh, so either one or three. This is relevant for the um, damage output, I think. I forget. So it's at three, let's say. Um, energy type, important. Um, let's go with kinetic. Uh, at red and rank two, choose two. So we're at rank two, of course. Of course. Uh, we get to <laughs> um, <laughs> tweak the optics, I guess. Uh, and then at rank, choose another one. Choose another one at rank two. Um, stripped reactor shielding. Um, and then it's going to ask us about a cone, line, blast, or burst. And it's going to be a uh, burst of us because we picked uh, melee, because we picked threat. And submit, and there it is. <laughs> and you have to click through that every time you fire the damn thing. It's great. It has it all. It's the perfect macro if it just didn't take like a minute to fire. But yeah, it's great. Um, and with that, welcome to season two of Interpoint Station. I've had a lot of fun. I'm glad to be back. I had a lot of fun. And I'll see you around, everybody. Take it easy. <laughs>